Another feature that you find on USGS maps and really all good maps is map scale. Like scale model airplanes, which are miniature representations of the actual objects, maps are scale models of the Earth's surface. To show the relation between distance on a map and true distance on the Earth, every map has a map scale. Different map scales are used to show an area with more or less detail. For example, a map of your room could be drawn using a scale of one inch on the map equals two feet in your bedroom. However, to show your local neighborhood, a scale of one inch on the map equals 400 feet on the earth might be used. On the other hand, a highway or road map, which must show a larger area, must use a scale of one inch on the map equals six miles on earth. On a topographic map, the scale is shown in the center of the lower margin of the map. So you find the scale here, and this is a blow up of it so that you can see it in detail. On a topographic map, scale is usually expressed as a fractional scale and as a graphic bar scale. The fractional scale is circled in green right here. Scale equals 1 to 24,000 and the graphic scale is inside the red box here um, and it's graphic, it's a picture showing you um, what distance is equivalent to a certain number of feet or miles or kilometers. A fractional scale such as 1 to 24,000 uses a fraction to show the relation between the distance on the map and the actual distance on the earth. The numerator of the fraction means that one unit on the map equals the number of the same units in the denominator on the actual Earth. So the nice thing about a fraction scale is you can use any units you want. Uh, you can think of this as one inch on the map is 24,000 inches in the real world, or one centimeter on the map is 24,000 centimeters in the real world, or one foot on the map is 24,000 feet in the real world or one pencil length on the map is 24,000 pencil lengths in the real world. It really doesn't matter what you use for scale. That's the nice aspect of a fractional scale. But it's important to point out that the units have to be the same. So if you're measuring one centimeter on the map, it's 24,000 centimeters in the real world. So the same units are used on the map as in the real world. Maps with small fractional scales, fractions with larger numbers in the denominator, for example, 1 to 250,000, cover very large areas. Maps that are 1 to 100,000 are a little bit more zoomed in. Maps that cover 1 to 24,000 are covering a smaller area, but with much more detail. USGS topographic maps are published using several standard scales. Um, the 1 to 24,000 is probably the most common, and that's the one that we'll be using. But they do also make 1 to 62,500 and 1 to 250,000. The second type of scale used on a topographic map is a graphic or bar scale, which is a bar that is divided into segments to show the relation between map distance and actual distance on Earth. Scales showing miles, feet, and kilometers are often included. Graphic scales can be used to construct your own map ruler for measuring distances on the map. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, you could take a scrap of paper, and if you wanted to measure in kilometers, put a scrap of paper up against this and copy the tick marks onto your paper, and then take your paper up into the map, map and just make measurements directly. One really important thing to notice about graphs, graphic scales or bar scales is that the mile and the kilometer often have zero in the middle. So there's a zero here and then a solid line going out to one mile. And then on the left hand side there's a zero 
and out to one mile, and the half is here, and so this is, you know, quarter, eighth, and so on. So that you got fractional bar scale there. But a common mistake that students make is they think that the distance from this point to this point is one mile, but it is not. It is two miles, because from the zero to the right is one mile, from the zero to the left is another mile. So this entire distance right here is a two mile distance. And the same is true for the kilometer scale on this particular um, map. And for feet, the zero is right here. So you just have to look where the zero is and then make sure that you're conscious of how far that's actually measuring.